What's up, Fight Fans? Thank you, as always, for passing by the channel. Much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. All right, so the estimated US pay-per-view numbers have come in for Deontay Wilder versus Tyson Fury. The number is 300,000. Straight off the bat, what do you guys think of that? 300,000? I think it's a, a good number. Um, I tweeted ages ago that I think the fight will get anywhere between 250 to 400,000 um, just because of the profile of both. Right? I didn't think it was going to get anywhere near sort of seven, 800 or a million US pay-per-view buys. I didn't. Remember, this is just the US pay-per-view buys. We're not talking about the UK pay-per-view buys. We'll get that number separately. But just the US pay-per-view buys, I think 300,000 is pretty good, right? I think um, they done well in terms of promoting the show. Not many people knew who Tyson Fury was in the US beforehand. And with Deontay Wilder, remember this was his first pay-per-view event. I don't think his profile is as big as we kind of think it is in the US, so I think that number is respectable. And also, let's not forget the cost of a US pay-per-view as well. I've seen a lot of people compare this number to the numbers that Anthony Joshua done um, against Povetkin and Klitschko and Parker and Takam. Uh, remember, the US pay-per-view, I think, is what, 79.95, whereas the UK one is what, 19.95 or 24.95 for HD. So what, 79.95, what's that, $80, so what's that? 65 pounds, there or thereabouts? So you almost have to double that pay-per-view number, if that makes any sense. So you're really looking about 600 to 650,000 pay-per-view buys if it was the price of a UK pay-per-view. Does that make sense? So I think the number is actually pretty good. I, I don't know what it does in terms of negotiations with Anthony Joshua because obviously those are the things they look at. I don't know why we as fans pay too much attention to pay-per-view buys and ticket sales, but I mean, if you're the management team of Anthony Joshua or Deontay Wilder or Fury, those are the things you go to the table when you're discussing percentages. But I do think for Fury's first pay-per-view event in America and Deontay Wilder's first pay-per-view event in America, I think it done all right. I really do think 300,000 um, is a good number. They said their break-even number was 250, so they've exceeded that. Obviously, they would have wanted it to go to a bigger number, especially considering the promotion they've done for it, which I thought was fantastic. But I think they're going to be happy, especially when you think of the aftermath of the fight. I mean, because of the way the result went, it being a controversial draw. I've seen Deontay Wilder on numerous chat shows. I've seen Tyson Fury do his fair share. There is talk about Deontay Wilder going on the Joe Rogan podcast as well. So I think it's going to get a lot more traction than the 300,000 pay-per-view buyers suggest, right? When I've seen other fighters do really good numbers, normally that's it. Straight after the event, full stop, no one talks about it, move on. These guys, I think they're getting really good traction. And I think it's raising the profile of both Wilder and Tyson Fury to the point where if they do fight again in the US or if they have a rematch, I expect the number to be a lot higher. But what do you guys make of the number? Happy? Not happy? Expected it to do more? Expected it to do less? Let me know what you think. Peace.